This is Seth David for the Sleeter Group, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're going to talk about Zoho.com, which has a suite of products. We're going to focus on the CRM. But first, find out more about this and the other applications that, that we're going to be presenting at the Sleeter Group 2012 Small Business Technology Roadshow. What this is, is it's a full day of training and educational information about these products and what they can do for you and your business, or if you're an accountant, what they can do for you and your clients' businesses. Accountants can bring all the clients they want for free. You just have to register and register your clients as you want to bring them. It doesn't cost you anything extra. The whole day will cost you $69 at the most. That's if you procrastinate. If you sign up early, you'll get in for $59. If you're a Sleeter Group member, you can get it for $49 for a whole day of training and learning, and you get the CPE credits for spending the day if you're a CPA who needs that. Meanwhile, Sleeter.com forward slash Roadshow is the place you want to go to get more information about this. You can click on Locations Agenda here to see when it's coming to a city near you. Meanwhile, let's go over to Zoho.com. When you go to Zoho.com, their root site, you'll see that there's a ton of applications that they offer for small business and obviously because it's zoho.com it's in the cloud it's on the web so all of this is, is is stuff that's going on on the web in the cloud which means it's a place where you can access it from anywhere with an internet connection so that you can easily collaborate using a lot of these products and the CRM is certainly no exception so I'm going to click over here under business applications on CRM we're going to take a look it's, it recognizes that I'm still signed in from a previous session and the reality of this is there's no way I can show you everything this does but I want to at least give you the concept of what this is all about because you run a business maybe you go to trade shows and conferences and you meet people and it becomes a question of how do I keep organized about all this how do I track the people I meet what do I want to do with them if I want to do anything with them you know when does a lead become a contact when do I you know when the account happens when do I you know how do I keep track of that what are potential deals I might want to close with these leads you know, marketing campaigns, all of this, as you can see, if you just look across the top, is built in here for you to be able to work with. So let's start out with a lead. I come over here to leads, and let's say I want to create a new lead. I want to, I want to work with Doug Sleeter. So let's put company, the Sleeter Group. Okay, first name Doug, last name Sleeter. Okay, obviously you would want to take your time and fill out this whole form. I'm not going to bore you by making you watch me enter this whole form. So I'm just going to put in the required information. So I meet Doug at a conference somewhere. He tells me I've got this company called the Sleeter Group. We have a conference every October. Uh, why don't you come down to the conference? And as I talk to him more and find out more about what it's all about, I'm thinking in my head, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go to the conference, but I'd actually like to see about becoming a speaker. I think I have something to offer. So now I have a potential, right? So let's go to potentials. And I've already got one up here that says speak at Sleater Conference. Okay. And what do I want to do? It's at the stage of prospecting. I've got it followed here. You can follow the events. That puts it here into the pulse so I can keep track of it. Okay. So I've got a potential. I want to speak at this leader conference. So when you create a new potential, it's going to essentially be what you see here in this form. If I click edit. So it, it brings up you as the owner because remember this is collaborative. So you can have multiple people in your organization working on these things. I can put in an amount here. I don't know. Let's say Doug would even pay me to speak at his conference. So let's put it in as uh, 500 as the amount. Okay. So we put speak at Sleater Conference. There's the account name, the Sleater Group, which I had set up previously. And we'll show you what that looks like. So I've got all the required information filled out. Let's click Save. We go to the accounts. I've got Sleater Group and I've got the Sleater Group. Let's delete this one. I don't think I need this one. So let's go to Sleater Group. I click on that and it says I've got potentials in the pipeline. Speak at Sleater Conference, potentially $500. So this is cool because as I create potential deals, I can literally and specifically look at what are these things potentially worth to me. So now let's say I start talking with Doug. And now I want to say, you know what, Doug is going to, I'm going to convert Doug because he's not really a lead anymore. He's now become a contact. He's now somebody I'm going to do business with. So I can click here on his name, edit, I can choose convert, and I can uh, create a new account to Sleater Group or add to existing. 
at the Sleater group. So add to account the Sleater group. It knows that there's an account already set up for this. So once I do that, I can click Convert, and Doug Sleater will no longer be a lead. I may want to follow him. This is not the same as following somebody on Facebook, folks. This is to follow the activity that's going around and or that's going on around this person, and whatever business I'm hoping to be able to do with him. So when I click on Pulse now, he'll show up here in this list, and it'll keep track of any activities that I sort of include him in. Okay. So now if we go to Contacts, Doug shows up there. Potentials, potential business deals I might want to close. I come in here. I find out Doug has agreed to let me speak at his conference. That's wonderful. Let's click Edit and let's come over here and say we've closed it. So now I click Save and it shows me that I have now closed this deal. The probability closed in one now 100%. It shows me when it was modified to reflect this. Now if I go to Pulse, it says Close Potential Speak at Leader Conference. Boom. And if this were really what I was getting paid to speak at this conference, it would show this. It would say, all right, I've got $500 coming in in the month of July based on business I've closed. That's where this can start to become really powerful because now I can look at this and say, let's go 2012, Q3, next. It shows me what I've got in the pipeline, right? It shows expected revenue is $500. So I can compute and it's going to put committed amount $500 right there and then I can save this forecast so now I start being able to track based on business that I know I've locked in for the future how much money I'm bringing in based on all this this my friends is just one very quick less than 10 minute example of what you can do with this thing hopefully you can start to see the power in using a tool like this especially when you consider that you can have your employees also going in here and updating this information so I may go to the conference and meet the person but I may have a salesperson who I want on that potential account turning it into an account so that it becomes paying business that's the whole objective here is to track all these people and contacts that I have and what do I want to do with them when do I hope to do it by and then keep track ultimately of whether or not I manage to close the deal and if I close the deal great if not you know all these screens all along the way when I go to potentials if I go in here they all have notes they all have places to type notes so I can keep this record and again the beauty of this is it's not kept in a database on my local computer it's on the web it's in the cloud and while I'm talking about it Let's go back to Zoho.com. Actually, let's look at their help files really quick because I was so impressed when I was looking through this. Forgetting about the help itself and what this is intended for, but just by looking at the help files, you can start to see all the things that potentially you can do with the Zoho.com CRM. Okay, we have marketing automation. I've got Salesforce automation right in here. This is kind of what we've taken a look at, leads, accounts, contacts, and so on. Marketing automation. I can create campaigns. I can set up web forms that can be embedded into my website. I can do email marketing. It even has inventory management features, products, price books, vendors, quotes, so on. There's so much that this product does that you have to check it out. And of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you really want to find out more and learn directly from a representative who works for Zoho, then come to the Sleater Group Roadshow at sleater.com forward slash roadshow. I hope to see you there if you're at the Los Angeles one. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback or experience, please post it below. If you're watching the video on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. If you're reading this on the blog post and watching the embedded video, post your comments, questions, feedback in the comments box at the bottom. I look forward to seeing you soon.